Well, now that Robert Mueller is done investigating the president, White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders is calling on Congress to investigate former top U.S. intelligence officials. If Congress is so gung-ho to call people up to the Hill, the list I would start with are Comey, Clapper, Brennan, and other people in the FBI who perpetuated this absurd lie and this absurd idea that the president of the United States was somehow a foreign agent and colluding with another government. Well, joining us now is former director of national intelligence, James Clapper, author of Facts and Fears, Hard Truths from a Life of Intelligence, and was named there by Sarah Sanders. So, Director Clapper, what, what is your reaction to what Sanders said? Well, first, I... I wonder if she was conflating or confusing uh, collusion, whatever that is, with uh, the Russian interference. And certainly uh, those of us that she named, John Brennan and uh, Jim Comey and I are part of the group that uh, were tasked by President Obama to re put together all the reporting we had on the Russian interference. And uh, which we did. Uh, President Obama uh, directly and personally confronted Putin about the Russian inter interference in September and did not accept at face value uh, Putin's protestations. Uh, John Brennan directly did the same thing with his counterpart. On October 7th of 16, we put out a statement. I say we, Jay Johnson, then Secretary of Homeland Security, and I put out a statement, a pretty forthright one, about warning of the Russian interference in our election. This was a month before the election, which unfortunately got drowned out by the Access Hollywood tape revelation. On December 29th, the administration, uh, you know, issued a series of sanctions. Uh, PNG, 35 Russian operatives, closed two dodges, uh, et cetera. And then, of course, on January 6th, we issued our intelligence community assessment documenting the Russian interference in which we had very high confidence in the evidence that we presented to then President-elect Trump at Trump Tower. Um, I think what gives rise now, and I will I once again emphasize that in that intelligence community assessment, there was nothing about collusion because we didn't have sufficient evidence of, of that to include it. And I, so, I have so stated publicly, starting with March 4th of 2017, when I, I appeared on Mar, uh, Meet the Press, and I consistently said we didn't have the evidence at the time contemporaneously, and it was my great hope that the Mueller investigation would resolve that once and for all, and apparently it did. And regardless of, of your political stripes, whether you're an opponent or proponent of President Trump, that's a good thing for all of America. I would just note that uh, my former general counsel, Robert Litt, has written an excellent treatise on the nuances of the language in the Barr Memorandum, which, w without going into it, I'll just say emphasizes the importance of transparency and having access public access to the entire report. In terms of, you know, things you have said on television subsequently, uh, just over, you know, uh, I don't know, however long you've been talking on, on, on television, uh, do you regret anything you have said in terms of uh, raising questions about the president's behavior or some of the things the president has done or said? No, I don't. Uh, and I have put that in writing in, uh, in my book as well. I, yeah. I, I, have, I've, I have concerns, in, uh, uh, as do others, and I have tried to be factual and temperate and moderate about it, but, uh, uh, but I do have concerns, and no, I don't have any regrets. And, and, and do you still have the same concerns about, you know, the president, his relationship with Vladimir Putin, the, his tendency to side with Vladimir Putin against, uh, you know, uh, former intelligence officials or even his current intelligence officials. Yeah, I, I do have concerns about the, 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 and, uh, the president's unwillingness or inability or whatever to call out the Russian interference in the election. And I would just point out that one of President Obama's objectives in tasking us to do that r report on, on the Russian interference was to hand it off to the next administration. So uh, the Trump administration would have that as, as a basis for taking action against Russia, which sort of hasn't happened in, in some ways. So la I mean, just lastly, you said, you've said before that you don't understand what you say are the strange personal deference to Putin by the president. Does Barr's summary of Mueller's findings, because that's all we've seen, clear that up for you at all? Or you certainly want to see the full report? Well, I would, like everyone else, I would very much like to see uh, what Mueller actually said in his report and uh, hopefully answer some of the unanswered questions 
that I think still linger, that the three and a half page summary that the Attorney General uh, uh, provided, which was, I, you know, it's kind of like headlines, details at 11 sort of thing, yeah. uh, doesn't cut it. Yeah. Director Clapper, I appreciate you being with us. Thanks. Thanks, Anderson.